What's up guys and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I am going to be doing this makeup tutorial look right here. This is my everyday fall makeup routine and what is also better than having a fall makeup routine to wear during the holidays than to have a bright white smile and that is why today's video is sponsored by Remy Teeth Whitening. The Remy Teeth Whitening Kit is an affordable and convenient way to whiten your teeth from the comfort of your own home, meaning that you don't have to leave your house whatsoever to get this customized kit. Ordering is made easy. Head to shopremy.com and add their teeth whitening kit to your cart. At checkout, use my code MRLando25 for 25% off your purchase. Once you receive your impressions kit in the mail, grab each bite plate and try them on to determine which one works for you. The smallest one was perfect for me, so I chose that one. Grab both the white and blue clay and mix them together until you can no longer see any white in the mixture. Roll the clay into a log shape and divide it into even pieces. Place one piece of clay on top of the bite plate and the other on the bottom while evenly spreading to cover. Now that everything is ready to go, immediately bite down all the way to make your impression. Be sure to hold it in place for four minutes and then repeat the process a second time with the second set of tools your kit is supplied with to ensure you have made a proper impression. Once both impressions have been made, now you can send back your impressions kit with the prepaid box Remy has supplied you with and receive your kit back within two to four business days. Your Remy teeth whitening kit comes with custom top and bottom whitening trays which are made of BPA free dental grade hard soft plastic that is especially designed to be protective on the outside and comfortable to wear on the inside. The gel that comes with your kit is non-toxic and made of high quality vegan ingredients to gently whiten your teeth overnight over the course of 14 nights. The gel felt extremely comfortable on my teeth and I noticed a brighter and whiter smile after just one use. Join Remy Club for a replenishment of teeth whitening gel every three months and don't forget to use my code MORLANDO25 at checkout. All right, so now we're moving right into the makeup tutorial. So I'm first going to prime my skin with the CoverGirl True Blend Base Business Skin Primer, and it is their Pore Minimizing Skin Primer. I've been really, really liking this for my oily skin. I just take a little bit of it and I pat it into the areas that I tend to get really oily, and that's the only place that I put it on top of. I'll rub it a little bit, but for the most part, I'm going to pat it into my skin. Then I move on to the Benefit Cosmetics Boing Cakeless Concealer. I like to put this only on my troubled areas. It looks like I have a lot of acne right now, but I actually just have a lot of scarring that I'm waiting to heal. So because I need some extra coverage, what I'm going to do is place that on top of those troubled areas. Then I'm just gonna let it sit there for a few minutes and really warm up to my skin's temperature. And you can really just sip on some coffee, give it a few minutes, relax. And once it's been a few minutes, I go in with my Real Techniques blending sponge. This has been one of my favorite blending sponges of all time. And I'm just gonna lightly blend out the concealer. It doesn't have to be perfect, but I feel like letting that concealer sit on top of those troubled areas and warm up to the temperature of my skin really helps it stay in place. I find that if I blend out my concealer too quickly, after applying it, it doesn't give as full of a coverage as I like. So letting it sit on your skin and sort of, I guess, dry in place really helps. And you can see how much coverage that concealer has given and it's really evened out my tone. So now I go in with my all-time favorite setting powder. This is the Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder. It's their original shade. I take a big fluffy powder brush and I just do a light dusting over top of this. I really like this as a barrier for my oily skin, so I do this before applying my foundation. I feel like it helps make my skin just look so much less oily throughout the day. Now for foundation, I'm using the Urban Decay Stay Naked Foundation in the shade 40NN. I have been really, really liking this foundation for oily skin. So my trick to keep my skin less oily and a little bit more matte throughout the day is to take this foundation with my beauty blender or my blending sponge, and I actually start where my problem areas are and I build out from there. So I do a lot of coverage in the areas where I know I have a lot of scarring, and I just focus that product there and then obviously blend it into my neck and my ears and everything. And then what I like to do is go around the outer edges of my face. I like to have the fullest coverage around my hairline, my chin, and everything like that, anywhere I typically have breakouts. And I will save applying any product on the middle of my face. And this has helped me really well to have oily skin and whatever's left over on the sponge is what I will blend into that area that gets really oily. I feel like the less product I have on my skin, the less oily it gets and the less cakey it looks throughout the day. So next I go back in with that concealer that I used in the beginning and I'm just placing that under my eyes. 
I'm using shade number three, if I didn't mention before. It may be a little bit light for my skin, but I do like that extra brightness in the center of my face. And so once that's applied, I just take a beauty sponge and I lightly blend that out. You can see I don't do tons of blending on the inner corner, but I do on the edges blend it out really nicely so that it's a little bit more concentrated where I wanna keep it the brightest, if that makes sense, hopefully it does. So I just do that to both of the under eyes and sometimes I'll add a little bit to my forehead as well to brighten up the center of my face even more. Once I've applied the foundation and concealer, I like to go in with my all nighter setting spray from Urban Decay, give it a light mist, and then I just kind of let it dry before moving on. And once that's all nice and dry, I go back in with my Laura Mercier setting powder. I know this feels like a lot of products, but trust me, if you have oily skin, this is going to save your life. This really truly helps my skin from getting super oily throughout the day. So all I do is I focus that setting powder into the areas basically where you would have applied the primer so anywhere you're going to get really really oily throughout the day i just press that in with a damp beauty blender into those problem areas and this specific powder has never like broken me out giving me pimples anything like that so i really really enjoy using this powder and it also doesn't really give any flashback that I've noticed, so I've really enjoyed using that. I also like to apply it a little bit to my forehead and on my chin where I tend to get oily too. And then I go into my Benefit Hula Light Bronzer. That has been really, works well for my skin tone. And I take a little angle brush and what I like to do is keep my bronzer very specific towards my temples. I try not to go any lower than my temples. I find that my face looks much more lifted when I apply my bronzer here. And then I do a little C shape up my hairline and sometimes to warm up my skin as well, I will take that same bronzer and I will apply it to my forehead as well. But you can already see like how lifted your skin looks when you try this. Seriously, I just started trying this technique and I've been absolutely loving the way that it lifts my face, if you can see that. So then what I also do is apply it to the sides of my nose. I don't like to heavily contour my nose. I think it always looks super obvious when I do that. So I just like to give it a little shadow work on each side of my nose to make it look just appear a little bit smaller. So I really have been enjoying doing that. And then I take my brush and I take it underneath my jawline to help sculpt it just a little bit more and add a little bit more definition and contouring there. And I just sort of blend it down my neck as well. And sometimes I like to go in with my Hoola bronzer, the original bronzer from Benefit, to add a little bit more contour. I kind of felt like being a little more glam. My fall makeup is always just a little bit heavier, a little bit more glam. That's what makes it fall to me, I guess. And then I go in with my ColourPop Cosmetics blush. This is in the shade Desert Rose. Love this blush. And I apply it just on top of the same place that I put that bronzer. Again, it just helps really lift the face. And then go in with my Urban Decay setting spray and give that a nice set, let it dry. And then I'm gonna head up and do my eyebrows. And now that I've done my eyebrows, I'm going to take my Urban Decay eyeshadow primer potion and just prime my eyelids. Love, love, love this primer. It works so incredibly well. I'm so obsessed with using it. Once that's all blended out, I went into the Tartlet Little Toasted Palette using the shade Bundled Up. It's just a really nice cream shade. I took a fluffy blending brush and I applied that all over the lid. It's just gonna help blend everything out because this is gonna be a really smooth shadow look. So going into the Lil Bloom Tartlet Palette, I went with the shade Explorer and I'm just taking a fluffy blending brush. I'm taking this into the crease and blending it up, but you can also see that I'm kind of rounding it out just for my eye shape, I'm sort of rounding it towards my nose. That helps make everything look good. So if you have round eyes like me, you're definitely gonna like that trick. So once that's done, I go in with the Lil Toasted palette again and I take the shade Flicker. And now I'm taking a Sigma E40 brush and I'm focusing this in my crease, but I'm also going to sort of bring it down onto my lid a little bit. So this is just gonna be a really soft, blown out shadow look. It's nothing too crazy heavy. It's all very much focused like in the crease and outer corner, but I'm blending it all over the lid if that makes sense. And that is the finished product. So now going in with the Benefit Roller Liner, I'm creating a nice wing but for my eyes since they're so round I'm actually only going to do the wing on the outer corner of my eye so you can see I'm creating a really thick wing just on the outer corner and then I'll kind of take the liner and blend it into my lash line but I'm not going to do like my entire lash line lined with liner if that makes sense. 
So now I'm going in with the Tarte Lights Camera Lashes Mascara and I am applying that to my lashes. I'm giving it a nice healthy coat before we move on to do the faux lashes. For lashes, I take the Bold Face Makeup Muse Lashes in their Last Trance style and I take just one of the lashes and cut it directly down the middle. And you can see how I'm going to create a nice little winged look by placing half of each lash on each outer corner. So near where the wing is, is where I'm going to place each lash. And I just absolutely love this look. It helps elongate a round eye. And so after I've done that, I'm going to take some more of that liquid liner and place it over the lash line once the lashes have had a minute to dry. And that's going to help cover the band or any glue that's showing. And I'm going to take some of the Tarte Lights Camera Lashes Mascara on the bottom of my lashes to finish off the eyes. Next to finish off with the lips, I'm taking my my doll 10 lip liner in their shade Hollywood I love this shade for a nice nude lip and so I'm just gonna take that and I really only do the like center of my bottom and top lip I don't really do much on the edges and then I take my favorite nude lipstick of all time which is the stark naked shade from urban decay cosmetics it is the perfect nude shade and I absolutely love it I'm almost out of it so I'm gonna have to grab more and then what I like to do to add a little bit of contrast is take the Charlotte Tilbury Kim KW lipstick and just kind of top that a little bit in the center of my lips to help brighten it a little bit and then if you want to have a gloss I know I I do and I just love the gloss with this look. I take the NYX Butter Gloss in their shade Creme Brulee and just top it with that and look how beautiful that combo is. That is my favorite lip combo of all time. If you wanted to do a more vampy, dark, sultry look, you could use the Urban Decay Disturbed Lipstick. That is my favorite fall lipstick of all time. I'm gonna have everything linked down below for you guys, but that is the finished makeup tutorial and I hope you enjoyed this look and love it as much as I do. So that is it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Again, thank you so much, Remy, for sponsoring this video and making this video possible. And again, if you guys wanna get $25 off your Remy Teeth Whitening Kit, make sure to use my code. It's gonna be in the description box down below as well as right here to get $25 off of your Remy Teeth Whitening Kit. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time.